what's happening? Don Suave here. As you already know. This little video series, I was giving my little five keys, my little secret keys to making a hit song that sells in hip hop or pop music. Um, the fourth one, which kind of, kind of, kind of can be combined with the first one, the NLP one with anchoring, it's repetition. Um, I'm sure you already know it. It's obvious when you listen to the radio, like you're hearing the same thing over and over and over, what it seems like. And it's not only important to be aware of it, but you gotta like utilize it to your advantage. And I think it's two ways to do it. One way is just blatantly just repeating something. Obviously when that song goes, you only have three and a half, four minutes or whatever to get that person's attention and be stuck in their mind, which is hard because people are doing all kinds of things, you know what I'm saying, so it's tough. So, one way is to blatantly just, like, repeat things. Like, the ass song from Big Sean, you know what I'm saying? When that song goes off, they want you to still be thinking in your head, ass, 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 you know what I'm saying? So, like, when you hear just a snippet of it somewhere, it automatically triggers it in your head, you know what I'm saying? And that's key. But you want to be able to do that. You want to be able to do that. My bad, I'm fixing something. Um, blatantly, and also I think there's another way to do it, which is more subtle, which is more like the anchoring, which is um, to you would do say say for example you do your verse, your first verse, and somewhere in there you say which ultimately is like the name of the, of the song. You know what I'm saying? Some, 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 some flying kites. Blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? And then you just go about it. The hook has no no reference to flying kites. And then the second verse comes along. You go blah blah blah, flying kites. Blah blah blah. blah. Keep going. Blah, blah. Third third verse, same thing. And then by that time, the listener can already kind of predict that you're going to say flying kites at that that times you said you know you, you you structure so you say it in like the same same melody and the same same cadence as you say it throughout the song so that's kind of predictable um in hip-hop um cameron's old boy you know what i'm saying like that is used to be like a repetitive point of reference for the listener you know what i'm saying and you just build the song around it and it's key. And, re and repetition not only works with lyrics, but it works with you gotta use repetition with your melodies and with your cadence. You know what I'm saying? Like especially in hip hop, but it's really important in pop as well. You know what I'm saying? Pop, it's like pop is so it's so like man, because they you know three and a half minutes they trying to make it a hit, so they trying to make it as catchy as possible. So it's basically. Like when you're writing pop music, you write, you basically write hooks. Like every line is a hook. Like when you listen to a, a pop record, listen to it, break it down, listen to it like four bars of the verse. You're like damn, that could be a hook. Um, listen to a Katy Perry record. That's just basically what they're doing. They're writing hook, 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 and then they're a really catchy hook. <laughs> and then back hook, 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 really catchy hook. That's pretty much how they're writing. It's you know, it's getting down to it. And that's key. Those repeating lyrics, you gotta basically have a four, like a section that's like you're repeating that 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 cadence, that da 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 everything kind of become predictable for the listener so it's easier for them to sing along with it hum along with it when the cadence is the same it's easier for them to memorize the words to your song and easier for you to memorize it as well so it kind of builds anticipation for different parts of the song so like repetition is key i think you already knew that but i just wanted to take it a little take it a little step further and then tell you why i think it's important and on that note Check out my fifth 
my video with the fifth key of the secrets to writing a hit in hip hop and pop music. One.